All right, we've got an epsilon delta problem uh, having to do with a proof that we want to attempt to solve. And uh, the question begins with, let's see, uh, we're given a limit of 4x minus 7 of minus 39 as x approaches negative 8. And the question is, well, which delta is going to allow us to prove this statement here? And um, by definition, um, the definition starts with, you know, if if this is true, uh, x minus a, if that's less than delta, greater than zero, then this follows. By definition, that is what a limit is. And so um, when we set out to uh, actually write this proof, even though that's not directly what they're asking us to do, uh, we would have we would start with this assumption. So uh, we're going to say something like, you know, assume that x minus a, now a in this case is a minus 8, is less than delta. And then we'd make some other, uh, we'd be able to make some other uh, connections uh, to arrive at this final expression. That's what we're, you know, that's what we're trying to prove. So uh, what, what this question involves, when they say which delta is going to allow us to prove that, it involves some scratch work. And I'm just going to write SW. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going to work off of the thing that we're trying to accomplish. What are we trying to accomplish? Well, it's, it's uh, this. We want to be able to arrive at that answer. So what we'll do over here is we're going to say, okay, well, we want we want to be able to show that f of x minus the the l, which in this case is minus thirty nine, is less than epsilon. And so um, we we want to arrive at the delta that's going to allow us to say that. And so at this point, we sort of just play with some algebra, and we say, well, if I, you know, clean this up, and then you know factor out a, a four. And then if, if I divide by four, okay, so now that we know that delta is equal to epsilon over four, then we can write this line here. Uh, which is the assumption that the absolute value of x minus negative 8 is less than delta, uh, which is going to be equal to epsilon over 4, because we've just found that, that delta. 
And then the next line, in the next line, we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 4. And we'll keep simplifying successively. And so if I do that, the 4s cancel. Now, if I distribute the 4, I'm left with 4 times uh, let's try that again the absolute absolute value of 4x plus 32 is less than epsilon except I should be able to write this expression in a way that looks more like what I'm after which is 4x uh, minus 7 minus negative 39 is less than epsilon, right? So I basically took this, I took this uh, plus 32 and I, ju I just wrote it this way. It means the same thing. And that's where we end because, that's where we would end the proof because we've actually shown that we can arrive at f of x minus l is less than epsilon if we let delta be epsilon over four. So that's, we're after the epsilon, but I also went ahead and showed you how to get the proof.